That's not a comic book. Now that's a comic book. Welcome to this week's episode of Trade Talk. This week we are continuing the Black Panther series with Black Panther Secret Invasion, written by Reginald Hudland, with art by... Hefte Paolo? J-E-F-T-E-P-A-L-O? Pretty sure that's supposed to be Hefte. Um, Alright, so... I was worried when I was going to start talking about this, or, or reading the last arc and then going into this I was like that felt like kind of a spiritual conclusion and this is just tie-in stuff because my problem with Hudlin's run really has been that it's not bad it's just it's so disjointed because it keeps getting distracted and having to deal with other stuff and just the Marvel universe and so I was worried going into something that's obviously to do with the scrolls. Um, oddly enough, I was, I really enjoyed this, though. Like, you can definitely tell this is a tie-in, so much so that, like, they didn't feel comfortable just collecting the tie-in issues in trade, so they gave you this, uh, this section in the back that's just several pages talking about all the different series Black Panther has had over the years. Um... And so you just get, like, basically an issue's worth of stuff that, you know, this is a series Black Panther had written by this guy, art by this guy. Uh, and that was kind of interesting. It makes me want to pick up some of them. Uh, like, who is it that they talk about? They talk about Don McGregor's run. And I really want to read that. Jungle Action sounds really cool. I really like Don McGregor. I did a... Um, uh, trade talk on Zorro the Dailies the first year, um, which was a newspaper comic strip that got collected, and it was written by Don McGregor, and that was really good. I didn't know he'd written Black Panther. I kind of want to read that now. Um, so I might keep an eye out for jungle action. And then um, Christopher Priest's run also sounds kind of interesting. They talk about it like it's the West Wing of superhero books, and that kind of sounds neat. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so this story itself, though, Secret Invasion, uh, is just about, okay, so the Skrulls are invading Earth, as is, like, the big to-do in the um, Marvel Universe at this time. So what are they going to do about Wakanda? And we see them preparing to invade Wakanda, and they're like, oh, this will be easy. This, may, this is probably the most advanced nation on this planet, and still nothing compared to us. And then when the Skrulls show up at the gates of Wakanda's main city, they find the heads of their shape-shifting scouts on pikes. And I'm like, how the fuck did they find that out? And just immediately, a like cyber war begins between the Wakandan cybersecurity and the Skrull, um, what's the word I want? And the Skrull intelligence on the ship that they're, they're invading on. Um, just real quick note, I really like the way T'Challa is drawn there in that bottom panel, because, like, he actually looks very panther-like with that mask. It looks, it looks cool. It's that kind of perfect blend of the full face mask, but actually, like, kind of just the way that it's drawn looks like a panther face. That's neat. Um, anyway, so, open warfare breaks out, uh, and the, the Wakandans are able to, just in the nick of time, take down the power on the, uh, scroll ships and force them to land. And then T'Challa and the Wakandan military go to face the Skrulls in open battle. It's pretty cool. Neat scene. Really great art to, to showcase this. Uh, just looks really, really neat seeing them all fight like that, just in the trend, in the middle of the battlefield kind of thing. Uh... Chala sends Storm off to go do some secret plan he's got together, and 
he's going to deal with a Super Skrull who has the powers of Bullseye, Iron Fist, Wolverine, and some... Oh, Luke Cage's skin. Um, so T'Challa's dealing with him, trying to fight him, and he's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Skrull commander doesn't seem too worried, even though they're getting the tar beaten out of him. And his advisor says, But sir, our plan has completely fallen apart. Our ships are down, our weapons are destroyed, and all our sleeper agents have been discovered and murdered. You're wrong about one thing, Lieutenant. The Wakandans managed to kill our agents. It's true. But I never said they got them all. So, like, oh shit, what's going on? Next issue is just T'Challa leading the charge of the battle. So we're doing a little bit of retreading, but we're quickly back to him fighting this Super Skrull uh, with all these superpowers. Um, and he's sitting there thinking about, how do I beat this guy? He's got all these martial artists, Moon Knight, Shang-Chi, Captain America, Daredevil, Elektra, and T'Challa. He has the styles of them all down pat, but there's no way I can outfight him. But then I don't have to outfight him. All I have to do is just survive long enough to figure out his weakness. So he's just sitting there, kind of baiting this guy and you know taking him out one by one, waiting for him to, to show weakness. And uh, he gets hit and he goes, and there it is. He has tells. He can't use all of his powers at once, so he has to switch between them, and when he switches, he has tells. A subtle shift of weight, a slight change in posture. They're small and hard to detect, but once I have them down, they tell me everything I need to know. Like for example, when his left arm is invulnerable, and when it isn't. And he just breaks the guy's arm off? Um. And then takes out his eye and just, you know, beats the shit out of him. Um, completely trashes the guy. But once he's defeated that guy, two more Super Skrulls show up with powers of, like, the Thing, Juggernaut Hulk, and Loki, and Thor, and Beta Ray Bill. And I'm like, that was just the warm-up. Uh, meanwhile, Storm's sneaking around with some other Skrull, or some other, um, damn it, ruined it. Some other, uh... Wakandan soldier um, and she says Black Panther always knows what he's doing. He has contingency plans for every eventuality. He rooted out all of the Skrull infiltrators, didn't he? As a matter of fact, he didn't. We get the, you know, reveal of a Skrull holding Storm at uh, knife point. Um... Then the scrolls reveal that they have Storm and blah, 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 blah. They tell him to surrender. He tells his people to go home, uh, that he'll deal with this on his own. And then he's stabbed in the back by another scroll agent uh, and falls in front of the, the scroll army. Continued in the next issue. Um... So they're sitting there and they're torturing Storm and T'Challa to try to get the information they want out of them and like how did they figure out who the Skrull agents were, all this stuff. And so the, the, they just, the commander just leaves T'Challa and Storm to be tortured to death and plans on how to take uh, Wakanda. Um, And then two scrolls enter his chambers. We bring news of the interrogations, Commander. Are they talking yet? Have they said how they were able to detect our sleeper agents? Speak up. It was their souls, sir. Their what? Bleep, bleep. Damn it, hold on. And you just get the, the interrogators like, Something's wrong. 
They, they had some kind of voice manipulator in them, and now this guy that we thought was T'Challa is saying he isn't. He was never T'Challa. Something's, something's not right. Meanwhile, you just have this conversation. Say so again, pr priest, I can't make you out. Who's that screaming? It was their souls, Commander. And there's like all this chaos going on. Scrawl technology was able to mask their bodies, even their minds, but not their souls. Will you be quiet back there? Priest, say that again. Priest, say again. What the hell is happening down there? They they used vocal manipulators and flesh transmuters, sir. They fooled us completely. We never even realized they had technology in this advanced. We, what the hell are you babbling about? They couldn't hide their souls. Not from the Panther God. Storm and the Black Panther are still at large. And then the two scrolls that are in his office transform. And it's actually T'Challa and Storm, and they kill the commander. That was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> that was pretty friggin' cool. Um, just like, the panther god sees all, commander. Shink! <laughs> I really like that, just that it was their souls. They couldn't hide their souls from the panther god. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Uh, get religion, folks. That's the lesson. Worship the panther god. Hands down the best deity. He licks you. Uh, so anyways, after they defeat the commander, the, uh, the Wakandans charge and, and take out the Skrull army. And I really love this two-page spread that we're left with. Of all the dead Skrulls piled up and written on blood on the walls of their ship. This is what happens when you invade Wakanda. Whew! That is a gas image. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man, oh, man. Um, and that's basically the end of that story. Here's a really good example of just how important and how fundamental and how poignant the idea of conquering Wakanda is. It's not that you can't do it. It's not that you can't have defeat be a possibility for T'Challa and the Wakandans. That's that's drama. But when you read something like Secret Empire, which I'm, you know, it's, it's not great to talk about, more of a current issue when I'm sitting here talking about a trade that's meant to kind of stand on its own a bit better. But in a recent issue of Secret Empire, you know, T'Challa's defeated, Wakanda's invaded because just basically poor writing uh you know it's just oh well hydra was able to take over wakanda they were able to outthink t'challa and all this i'm like i'm not gonna say you can't do that for the purpose of a story but it has to be like it has to be something relevant to wakanda that was just done as like flair for drama to to increase the the tension of the story itself and like that's a shitty thing to do to Black Panther and Wakanda for a not good story. When you have something like this, you have the Skrulls invading Wakanda secretly and some kind of secret invasion, if you will. It's disappointing to to do this in such a way that, like, you know... or it, It's disappointing if you don't have... A point to them being invaded you're just doing it to fulfill your own story this has a point like the the whole point of the scrolls invasion is to fulfill other stuff in the marvel universe this makes it work and says no if they're going to try to invade wakanda and it's not something that's going to enhance t'challa's character storm's character wakanda's character we're not going to do it So yeah, um, surprisingly good tie-in. Uh, you know, I, I quite enjoyed the Civil War tie-in for Black Panther, and the Secret Invasion tie-in was alright too. Uh, m mainly for the ending, um, it's only three issues. How much should I pay for this? Eh, 13 bucks. I think that's worth it. Uh, and it gives you kind of like a suggested reading for Black Panther in the future. Again, I want to see if I can find jungle action, because that sounds kind of neat. 
and maybe Christopher Priest's run, though. I've heard mixed things about that, so I need to look into other reviews of that that are not, you know, in a thing that's trying to get you to buy Black Panther stuff, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Got, I think, two more volumes of this run of Black Panther to get through, and then, or no, three volumes, let's call it. One of them's really short. Um, and then we'll, we'll be going on to other stuff. So thanks for watching Trade Talk. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you next time. Bye. That's not a comic book. Now that's a comic book.